everybody, this is Seth Eyes. Welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we defeated Koga after a very hard fought battle. And in this part, we're in Saffron City and we have a crisis that we have to solve. Ah, this building. There are. There are so many floors to explore. Let's just. Let's just count the floors. There are 11 floors. There's a fast way to do this, but I don't remember it by heart. Now, first off, I actually want to go here because there's an item that is easily missed. A zinc. Now, we're going to be doing a lot of wandering around. Yeah, we have an appointment. One fist up Giovanni's ass. Oh my. That is no way sounded for a quack. But we have to there is a obvious objective that we need to complete first. And it involves finding a certain key. Excuse me. Oh, quick attack. But, I just wanted to show off that there were there are 11 freaking floors here. This is going to be a long, arduous journey through this freaking building, and I don't know how long it's going to take. <laughs> and I can't tell you how many times I've gotten lost here as a kid, and you would think that by the time that I'm an adult and 27 years old that I would have it memorized by now. But I don't have it memorized. At all. Hell. I'm probably prone to get lost again. Which might not be the worst thing in the world because there's a lot of trainers to fight here. And they can get you some easy cheapo experience. And I guess you could do this before you fight Koga. Actually, I think it, you probably should, in retrospect, because a lot of these levels that you're going to be fighting up against are going to be lower than Koga's, except for two particular exceptions. But you'll be well equipped for it by that point. But, yeah, you got your ass totally kicked. But let's actually, now that I've shown you how many freaking floors this damn place is, let us go... Let us just start with a normal exploration. Ding dong. And plus, here's the gimmick. You notice how it works you to a different spot? Get used to it. Uh, I'm wandering around because I kind of want to beat up people in black uniforms. Also, why do so? Why why do you have five Pokemon as well? Holy crap! Oh, whatever. It's but I can't tell you how many times I've gotten lost here as a kid. I never look up guides, though, especially because I kind of have this belief of I want to figure it out on my own first, unless I get so freaking frustrated. At one point, I almost threw out the damn Game Boy, so I finally had to look up how to do it, or ask around. Ask people older than me who had already done it, because first time I ever played this game, I was, what, eight? Seven? So... Imagine seven-year-old, oh, trying to memorize this puzzle! Woohoo! And... Even then, I had... Now I obviously have ADHD and it's diagnosed, but then I did ha still have ADHD. I was hyper, couldn't sit still. Probably had a little too much caffeine. <laughs> Thank you. 
It probably wasn't the best thing in the world. But yeah. On the on the bright side, even though there's a big level gap here, you're seeing what Ratzilla is this particular Ratzilla is really good at. Going first and then either using support, which would be Thunder Wave, or hitting really hard with that special attack stat. Now, the unnicknamed Executor, I don't have a nickname for it yet. I will figure out one for it eventually. And the freaking thing. Eh, he's my... He's just gonna tag along. By the way, some of these scientists are not... friendly. And I don't know if I'll be able to even fight every single one of these freaking trainers. Oh, this is a bad matchup. Because this is just a bad matchup. Because Steel resists Grass and Psychic moves. I'll just brute force it. Behind a ginormous ass special attack. Yummy! I mean, this is like the Hypno set, really, but a slightly improved because you have a better sleep move than Hypnosis, and you have a better special attack stat to pull from. Plus you have even more- WHOA, YOU BASTARD! And it did almost no damage! <laughs> oh, Magneton! It evolves at level 30, and you're not gonna have a Magneton at level 28 unless you're a hacker. And you might be a hacker because you are a scientist. But let us eat your dream. And you can see what, the, again, what the set is good for. Oh, you survived. Your dream was so delicious the first time, I want to eat it a second time. Ah, uh, I got a Skype message. It's just gonna have to wait. Oh my god. I'm getting spammed with Skype messages, help me! Uh, I can attest, it's not the easiest thing in the world. Also, here's the other thing. It needs a car key. No! No! Nope! No! Let's see, there's one particular guy. It is floor number four, I want to say. Where you want to go. I want to say that's right. But don't hold me to that. I don't... Uh, it's been a long time. It's not floor four, is it? Damn it! I'm rusty. I'm rusty as hell. Uh, I'm rusty as hell. Hi. I've noticed you have. Might be five. I'll know it when I see it. That's the thing. I will know it when I see it. I'm not even going to put you to sleep. I'm just going to whoop up on you. Bye. The only bad part about Executor is it really doesn't learn a great grass move now. If I would have kept it unevolved, it could have learned Solar Beam, but meh. I mean, I can Giga Drain it. Yummy health. That's Drows. The Drowsy family is good at resisting special attacks. You got it's got that going for it. And, and Grass Psychic is a weird type. I'm not gonna lie about that. 
but there's a lot of offensive potential with that type, so that's kind of why I slotted Executorum to my team. Whoa! <laughs> that's a weird laugh. Hi. What? <laughs> the NPCs might as well just say get the power Nintendo power or some ridiculous crap like that. Ah, uh, there's what it's one floor. I'll recognize it as soon as I see it. I I thought it was four. Okay, I w wasn't too far off. Why are you here? WHY IS THERE A JUGGLER?! Okay then, I was not expecting that. Wow, Executor, you're slow. Sleep powder! Yay! I should be ashamed that my voice can go that high. But I'm not. So, I'm just gonna steal this cadaver's dream. Aww. It almost did the job. Yay, sleep. More dream it up. Goodbye, cadaver. Thank you for the experience. Mr. Mime. You know what? I'm just gonna switch. Because... I just want to take care of it fast. And I do have a, at least a dark type move. And again, the offensive versus... Wow. 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 Mr. Mime has special defense. But, wow. You're a jerk. Yeah, you are a jerk. You are a sanctimonious jerk. Uh... You heard a kid was wandering around. I think, yeah, I thought it was four, but it turned out to be five. I think I'm in the, I'm going in the right direction now, and we can actually properly explore this place better once we get this damn key. And we'll go floor by floor. Ow. Man, not having speed bites sometimes. Like, that damn Arbok just did. But hey, I gained a level, and look at the special attack. JUST LOOK AT IT! Boom. That was... that was unenthusiastic. But I don't want to be louder than I have to. I'm recording this at 4.18 in the morning. Okay, this is what I think it is. Yeah! Card key! Thank you! Can you interact with this? I forget. Call the police, you idiot! It's a telephone! Call the police! Nintendo Logic! And a protein. You know what? I might as well just use the... Protein and the Zinc while I can. I don't really have a super special tank. Eh, that's stable. You can... You, you kind of are my tank by default, so you get that. Sperm Bank is probably my most recognizable physical attacker, so he gets that. And that guy is just panicking. He is... Life does not agree with him. I somehow doubt that. Ah! 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 Anyway. Alright, you're battleable. Pokeball technology. Okay. I mean, we can basically whoop up and end this 
fast now, but there's so much more of this damn place to cover, so... I wouldn't do that just yet. Ah, uh, quad, quads, so much quad. Time to quad attack. Uh, yay! Boom. Also, you are also a hacker. Screw you. That's not a real magneton. Coffin. I still need to get that freaking coffee, coffee, coffee. That would be awesome. Uh, maybe next paycheck. I don't know. Oh well. Er. Wheezing. I really, again, I, I, I think I've said it so many times, but this is, it might not be the most original looking family, but it's a family that I think very positively of. It's it's not the greatest for single player, I'm not going to lie. Tanks are not more, are not particularly designed for single player usually. But, oh my goodness, multiplayer, they can be very, very nice. Magnemite. So basically you carry two families of both their full evolutions at this point. As of Generation 3. Magneton gets an evolution Gen 4. That I adore! Sonic Boom. I, I, wanna, I, I just want to sing that so bad! I, I Every time I see that attack! I don't think of Street Fighter, but I think of that stupid song. Quack. Can't help it. Quack. But now that we are able to, now that we do have that, a uh, let's see, we can start exploring. And you're gonna be seeing a certain text over and over again. Ah, crap baskets. Quack. Yeah. The card key opened the door. The card key opened the door. This girl will teach you Thunder Wave. It is a fantastic move. Out of curiosity, yeah, I figured. It is. It's an awesome move. But my Raichu does already know it. It's it's I, I seriously would recommend that move quite a bit. I'm going to avoid some battles, if I can avoid them. And here's some items, right here, in plain sight. An HP up. Cool. And the next special. Mm, that's fine, I guess. If you have an item fighter, there's hidden items galore here, but I do not have the item fighter. And I don't know all the locations on at the top of my head. Now, let us let us proceed with our exploration. No, well, I keep hitting the button too fast. <laughs> I, that's a bad habit of mine. Button mash. I'm a button masher sometimes. I can't help it. I believe... Yeah, we can actually... Quit messing with us, kid! I believe we can just sur short circuit and just go right to the end right now because we're on the right floor to do that. But that's not so much fun now, is it? You wanna have a little... We wanna have a little more fun than that, don't we? Am I right, guys? So we're going to be exploring more of the building. Don't worry. Oh, you have a hit though. Crap baskets. Boom. It's a hit though. Uh, 
had an itch on my elbow, I'm sorry. Yay! Not a knockout. Boo! Poison gas. Bad hypno. Bad, bad hypno. One way to slow down a tank is to poison them. I'll switch. Go to Radzilla. Go to Radzilla and punch it in the face. Boom! And Radicate is down and out. You give up. Of course you do. I should have a spare antidote somewhere. Or I don't. Well, crap baskets. <laughs> that kind of sucks. The good news is I think I'm close to a solution to this problem. Thing is, you can go here. Right here. And you've solved the maze. And this would be the end, but we're not gonna do that. You know that would be next, but we're not doing that just yet. We have so much more to explore. So, go over here. We're on the ninth floor. Ah, uh, you're a bastard. Well, here we are, ninth floor. Remember this spot. But uh, it's ha I think this is the, one of the fastest I've ever done the maze. Not maybe not the fastest, but one of the fastest. But anyway. But remember this spot on the ninth floor because you saw that woman down below. I'll explain why she's important here in a minute. Let's just kick this drowsy's ass. Nemo, Nemo. Grimer. Plus, I would consider this one a, a pure mandatory battle. Because I could see where someone's coming through in the ninth floor and doing it the hard way. I just showed you a, a little easier way to maybe solve it. Where you don't even have to really worry a lot about where anything warps to. I said I don't remember that much. It turns out I should trust my memory a little more than I originally thought. I'm better than I thought. Yay! Also, yeah! Card key, open the door. The door is open. But yeah, talk to this girl. She will heal your Pokémon. Never give up. Never ever give up. Yeah, ninth floor. Floors 5 and 9 are the floors you need to memorize. Well, really, floor, to, floors 3, 5, and 9 are really what you have to know. 9 is where this woman is. 3 is basically the ease of access. And 5 to more or less get the card key, which is mandatory. You're one of the four Rocket Brothers. You're gonna get zapped, brother. But yeah, it's important to know those that those are the key floors, but there's a hell of a lot of items that we can grab and some experience so that we can soak up as well for our Pokemon, so... You might as well just do that! It's worth it to you. It might, be, it might seem a little time-consuming, a little grindy, but it's worth it to you to do that. Especially considering what's coming up. The spoiler alert, the gym leader in this town, if you're not appropriate level, will kick your butt. Yes, she will. Yeah, she will. And there's not really a lot of counters for her that are straight up, so you kind of have to brute force it a lot of the time, you know? 
Zap the Hypno! Right in the nose! Bad Hypno! Bad Hypno! Bad Hypno! Bad! Bad Hypno! Bad Hypno! Bad Hypno! Bad Hypno! I love how I'm scolding it like a freaking dog. I lost, brother! <coughs> I shouldn't do that voice. It's kind of painful. But anyway. Continue the, continue the exploration a little bit. I think there's a nice little item here somewhere. Oh, you're just a dick. I had assume... Then I accomplished nothing! Except w just to show that the card key can work. Fantastic! I'm a dumbass! Well, let's actually go for 410. Hi. Ah, that's right, we talked to her earlier. Those are two battles, and we're going to grab those items. Again, I apologize for how long these videos are probably going to be. There's nothing silly about these games. In fact, I kind of think it's appropriate time that you go fuck yourself. Because I'm sick of Team Rocket's crap. You're going to get your ass kicked. Oh yeah, you're going to get your ass kicked. Boom. Goodbye, Magnemite. You lose. Scientists always seem to carry the Magnemite family, so... I've noticed. Haze. Uh, that basically eliminates all stat changes. It's very situational. I will not teach to my, uh, Vaporeon. I will not switch. I'll stay out. If it wasn't for Coughing's Levitate, they would... All this team would just share a weakness to ground. But, thankfully, the Coughing family has Levitate, so it's a lot harder to beat him. No continues left. Well, I think he would just white out. Hi. <laughs> That's the most polite introduction to a battle I've gotten yet. You actually welcomed me. I kind of appreciate that. I might remember you. I might remember you almost as much as I remember the person who just said, Oh no, I dropped the lift key. And I probably... I, I probably didn't. Because, and I probably won't because I don't totally remember that. But that's a good line. I appreciate that, sir. I appreciate that. I appreciate that a lot. Carbos. Rare Candy. Ultra Ball. We can't buy Ultra Balls yet, I don't think, so that's a good pickup. But I think we'll be able to shortly. Uh, let's go for eight. I think we have a and then we'll cover the the middle floors and the and the main two battles next time. That, that sounds a okay. Hi, an iron. I might as well just I might as well just use these items. Not the rare candy yet. Carabos. Red. Oh wow, You've, we've maxed that IV out. Holy crap. Um. You! Yeah, we'll just put it on Sperm Mickey, see he can use it. Unstable can use the defenses. Because, again, that's the tank. And I think I'm... I haven't shown off Xeros too much of late, so... We are going to just... Show off... 
We're gonna kick this brother's butt, too. <laughs> you have three. You have a wheezing. And we're gonna burn you. Yay! Goodbye, wheezing. And the coughing is next. But yeah, don't say I didn't tell you how to get through this fast. I'm just opting not to. For the sake of a long-term gain. Also, wow. This Charizard... This Charizard's just... Ah, oh, man. I love it. This thing's awesome. Oh, brothers! Card key open the door. Hi. You wonder if it's finished, huh? Oh, crap baskets. No! I think I'm gonna go as far as I want to. Or as that one song goes, F you, I won't do what you tell me. I love how I censored myself there and I said the word earlier. Okay. Actually, I don't think I said it well enough. Excuse me. Fuck you, I won't do what you tell me! That, there. That sounds a little better. Quack. That sounds better. Did that sound better? Yeah, I think that sounded a little better. Nope. Not a lot better, but a little better. Nope. But Charizard is not impressed by your intimidation. Burn in hell! Burn in hell! And there's some experience. And now we're gonna burn a coughing too. Sure. Bye bye, coughing. Again, I've censored it so many times, but. Bad guy teams with the poison types. I mean. <laughs> and. I mean, I saw a little bit of variety. There was. I saw the scientists with. The, they were carrying Magnemite and Magneton. I saw some with Machoke and a Chop, but. You know. I like variety, man. Not enough grit. But we have so much more of Slip to explore. I don't even think we've gotten to every little nook and cranny, but I think we'll continue on with the seventh floor properly next time. I've been Seth Isaac, you've been you and I bid you do for now. Goodbye.